Okay, 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 okay. Does everything work? What is up everyone? Welcome to another brand new video today. And in this tutorial, I wanted to do a remix from scratch by selecting a random Billboard Top 20 song. This is gonna be a pretty nice challenge for me. I have no clue what song is going to be picked, nor do I even know if the idea I'm going to make will even work. Uh, right now, I am in the, the list with 20 songs and this is the wheel of names and it's just gonna select like a random song and then we're kind of gonna go from there so levitating do a leap do a leap levitating it is your tight oh. all tight Okay, so this can definitely work. I think I have like a solid idea of what I want to do. So there's a few ways that we can actually do this remix. Number one is trying to find official remix stems. This is like my favorite method of doing it, but of course, chances are very low that this can actually be found online. But I'm going to show you different ways of finding official remix stems of a lot of songs, actually. Second method would be getting like an acapella somewhere, whether it's like an official acapella or just like a custom made one by someone else. Third method would be doing it myself. So I would actually run the whole track through like a website or RX-7 and then extract it from there. Not my favorite like way of doing it, but you know, if we don't have like any other option, probably would be the only option to be honest. And then the fourth method would be bootlegging the track which is my least favorite way <laughs> of remixing a track because you can't really touch like the track at all. You basically have the original track and then kind of add maybe some ambience or drums and then the drop, basically, but that's really it. So uh, let me see. First of all, I'm going to show you this website, which is called remixpacks.ru. Now, one thing I want to make sure right off the bat, you can only download these stems for two reasons educational purposes or non-profitable purposes. If you want to check out the stems and kind of see how other artists or producers did certain things in a certain track, or if you want to like remix a song and just upload it for free or trying to get clearance from like Trap Nation or Trap City or whoever, that's totally fine. But don't actually go ahead and like, you know, get the stems and then like upload on Spotify or some shit, you know, because that's not legal. I just wanted to say that right off the bat because I've had issues with other people before when I showed them this website. That being said, um, Dua Lipa levi levitating. All right, there's nothing available, but let me see here. Acapella. Auto Hero. Koop jouw tweedehands auto simpel online. Bro. Auto if you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I could take you for a ride. That's per. Wait, how's it? You moonlight, your mind. This is literally perfect. I'm gonna go to YouTube to MP3 and then uh, just copy this link, place it right here, and then just downloading it. BPM levitating. Oh, well, okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this to 103 in Ableton and we're gonna drag in the acapella. And now we can actually start remixing the track. I have no idea what I wanna do, but I'm gonna just select a. Uh, Reese. If you wanna run away with me, if you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I could take you for a life. Glitter in the sky. Then I wanna select serum, do like a little. OTT, some wider, maybe actually remove the chorus, some uh, redux, all right, and then some Valhalla Room, vintage. Galaxy 
sexy and I could take you for a ride. I'm just gonna copy this, put this right there. Echo, let me see, let me see. And then of course, we want like an EQ. I have made this like synth the other day. do is I want to create like a reverse thing so I want to get this right here and then make this like a reverse sort of swell that comes in vintage there we go if you want to run away with me I know a galaxy and I could take you for a ride I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life glitter in the sky glitter in my eyes shining just the way Okay, then I want to add some like vinyl stuff. If you want to run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into a some some more like ambience run away with me i know a galaxy and i could take you for a ride when you met me at the perfect time if you want to run away with me if you want to run away with me i know a galaxy and i could take you for a ride and then here i want to delete all this you baby want me i want you baby my sugar boo i'm levitating all right and then right there i want to actually control the cutoff a little bit so i just do like this stop for life uh then i want to add overdrive i want to add a little more drive to this you want me you, baby. And then now uh, we want to have some more drums. Uh, auto filter. Yeah, kind of like this. You want me? I want you, baby. You want me? I want you, baby. some more effects like this more time you want me i want you baby my sugar boo and then we're gonna reverse this and then i want to put this on like a new rack and add some panning to this you met me at the perfect time you want me i want you baby my sugar boo Some kicks. You want me? I want you, baby. My sugar boo. I'm levitating. The Milky Way. We're in again and Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! All right. Um, then I'm going to show you this because I want to add like more ambience to it. I'm going to show you this plugin, which is called Paul Stretch which is basically this and this is like a stretch plugin so i can literally drag in anything into this and it's gonna stretch like a lot so all right so for example if we just drag in this song from ozrin Now 
we have this like sort of stretched out ambience loop from an existing track. So now I'm just gonna add like um, ambience. There we go. So just a little piece right here that can be cool. You need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me. So then as you see like this stretch like sample can be really cool for like swells and ambience. Alright, so then this whole part is gonna be like part of the build up. And then I wanna do um some more ARPs. So probably just gonna do like this. Serum. Or wait, I had like a game. Yes. Odd cube in the building. Let's see how it sounds like together with the bass. Then we want to add our own like sort of snare, so let me just select a um, sampler, and then we're just gonna select like a little snare. Let me see. Drag it. And then we just kind of want to do some uh, pitch bend, so it's gonna raise higher and higher. Okay, then we need another uh, downlifter. I need like more effects. Oh, we just use this one. You want me? I want you, baby. My sugar. Crowd. And then add some um, QA. A few moments later. All right, so we're 10 minutes later. Um, and I just need to like kind of figure out the structure of what I wanted to do. I didn't like touch the build up yet. I just like looped sections and see where I could start like the drop. And I added like this tape stop, which is really sick. I need you all night. Come on, dance with me. I'm levitating. And then the drop comes, which is going to be ideal. Right now, I just want to finish up the build up like really quick. And something like, I don't know, sweep up. A couple like white noise lifters. Alright. And then some, uh, some crashes. Maybe some, some more like this. Riser. This one is pretty good. What if we just add this? Time. You want me? I want you, baby. I'm never taking you. Moonlight. You're my starlight. I need you. All night. Come on, dance with me. I'm never taking. Maybe like a bubble, sort of. Yeah, this one's nice. Time. You want me? I want you, baby. Um, so now that we have the break done, we can start with um, the drop, I think, so. I'm a elevator. Um, so I just want to select um, the J. Lewis, like, what's it called, like, unison kick? Yeah, there we go. We want to select this. I'm just gonna do like this. Alright, um. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, guys, quick update. Um, I made like, I, like, I tried this other drop, but I was like, 
I want to go a bit more original, a bit more like something different than I would usually do with the bass. So I start like this, like super quick. I like it's super bare, but. To do all night, come on, dance with me. I'm levitating. <laughs> Kind of just gonna go from there. Almost turning it into a sort of color base-ish, which could be cool. So now we need a um we need a sub. Come on, dance with me. I'm levitating. <laughs> Alright, and then we want to of course add a really fat like Maybe have an idea. We scrap this and put the full coder on here. Welcome back, guys. Um, this is the next day. I actually decided to kind of work on it off camera. Why? Because I spent not too much time, but a lot longer than expected on the remix. And I was like, my camera can't handle that, like recording eight hours straight. So basically what I'm going to show you guys right now is how I... Um, uh. So basically what I'm going to show you right now is how I made like the full drop for what it is right now and how I went about like adding the percussions, um, adding the synths and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let me play it. Alright, fire. So, I actually really like the drop. I might, literally, I might actually, like, turn it into, like, a, like a full available remix. Um, maybe with, like, Trap Nation or something, or just turn it into original, because I really like it. But yeah, so anyways, super short. Basically, the drums, uh, we have, uh, just two kicks. This is, uh, just a kick from... I think it's just Jaden Lewis pack. It's called Unison Kick 5. I added like a kick bus and I made the kick sound like really dirty. Then I added this kick, which is from our uh, When the Party's Over release. Then we have like these snares, these ones. Super like dubstep ish. This is the snare from When the Party's Over as well that we used. This is from a Cymatics, the snare called Mothership Lipstick Snare. <laughs> then I layered it with a smile snare, which sounds like this. It's like a lot more punchy. And then another Cymatic snare from the San Holo pack. <laughs> and then we have the percussions, which are these ones, I believe. Uh, just some crashes, rides, it's nothing too crazy. Also processing wise, there's nothing. <laughs> um, some long crashes. Some ex ousts from Kashmir. We have this like vocal ambience. Which is um, from the break and then just stretch it out uh, with the same LFO automation as for the other synths and bass. And then there's an OTT, a kickstart, and there's an EQ. Um, and then we have this like off beat sort of chant from the original track. And then we have these vocals, which sound like this. I need you. And then... For this, um, there is... Uh, for, for this one, this first layer... This one's really cool. This is just like the... 
I'm levitating, tating, 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 tating. And then I added a little altar boy. And then the formant is being automated, as you see right here. So it's going deeper in tone. And then there is a utility making the um, this sound a little bit more mono in the mix. And then what gives it like a lot more movement is this phaser flanger plugin. And then for the vocal chop, again, it'll alter boy, a little bit of drive, overdrive from Ableton, another OTT, and then some EQing. And yeah, that's basically it. Now we head to the most interesting part, which is this whole section. <laughs> So the first sound, uh, I've already explained this or shown you it yesterday, but it sounds like this. <laughs> Definitely the main sound, um, even though it's not like the best lead on its own, but um, this is called Lead Magnetron from Nexus. It has a dimension expander, compressor, phaser flanger, and this LFO tool that is being automated in the rate. So it goes from like really fast to slower, fast, slow. And then we have this like uplifter, which sounds like this. I really wanted this sound to sound more distorted and more like like a crispy layer in the background. So I added like this effect, which is called broken tube, um, then broken antenna. I have no idea what this does. Uh, it's from um, the multiband dynamics. Some redux, LFO tool yet again, EQing and auto pan. So it's like a really nice underlaying sort of riser. And then we have this layer. Okay, I don't even like this. Well, I... All right, I don't even know what this is. Just, uh, it's just like a, a preset. No, I just, no, f this. All right, uh, then we have this layer. So it's Serum. This is like my signature preset, some distortion compressor, and then sausage fattener, R bass, and of course, then the LFO tool that's following like the same pattern of the synths. And then we have this one. I also did this in Riot, and this is like a really good trick for like, let's say you're missing a little bit of high end in your drop, and you want to add it back in. Instead of adding it with an EQ, I would highly recommend adding it with like another percussion or another sort of synth. Because using an EQ is sometimes not like the best way to add higher frequencies. So this one adds like a really nice crispy layer around like the, what is it like? 8,000 or not even higher, probably like 10,000 hertz. And then we have this next layer, which is extremely, extremely fun to show you guys. Like this is, this is where, this is what basically makes the whole drop more organic. This is also called like the color base method. So you add a vocoder on like the vocal, so it sounds like this. Like we're forever every time we get together, but whatever, let's get lost on Mars. And then you add a vocoder, then I'm placing the carrier to external, and then the audio goes through my chord stack. And then you just kind of mess around with the dry wet, the format, depth, and make sure that enhanced is turned on, by the way. And then you get this effect. Like we're forever every time we get together, but whatever, let's get lost on Mars. Which sounds really cool. And then I added like an OTT, the same LFO effect, the EQ, and then the phaser from like the main Super Sauce stack. And then you get like this huge sort of talking synth. So yeah, that's what I did. And then here, I don't know what this is. It's a drum rack. Oh yeah, so what I did for this one is I added uh, five growl samples from the AU5 pack and then basically doing the same trick. So like the vocoder effect. And then I added some OTT, some overdrive and another LFO tool. And then we have the mid bass, which sounds like this. And then this is a uh, serum and there's an EQ, there's an overdrive, OTT, and another LFO tool. On the group though of the synths, there's also a lot happening. This is mainly for effects. So reverb automations, there's like a redux automation, there's auto pan filtering. So a high cut and low cut filtering. So you can get like more of a dynamic range in, uh, in the drop. 
So it's basically filtering and there's like a reverb automation uh, just for the transition. So yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I actually had like a lot of fun making this drop because it's something different than what I uh, usually do. But yeah, let me play the whole track, what we have so far, then um, yeah, we'll go from there. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shining just the way you like. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. My sugar boo, I'm levitating. The Milky Way, we're in again tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys very soon with more tutorials and more music. I have a brand new song dropping on July 23rd, which is going to be a huge release for me. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.